On tonight's Pay It Forward segment, it focuses on a Utah man who set a world record in one of the most grueling events ever, yeah. the triathlon. On his way to that record, James Lawrence took a little detour. He decided to take on a companion. And together, the ultimate Ironman and the boy with cerebral palsy were able to run, swim, and bike their way into our hearts and into the record books. Meet James Lawrence, the Iron Cowboy. Husband, father, professional triathlete. A man with a big dream. We wanted to do something bigger than ourselves and, and try to inspire and motivate. One more. In 2012, we broke a Guinness Book of World Record. We did uh, 30 full Ironman races uh, over the course of the year. Keep them right there, right? Um, the hardest stretch we did was uh, 16 Ironmans in 17 weeks. James' accomplishment would test even the most determined athlete. A 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike race, and a 26.2 mile marathon. Finishing one is amazing. Running 30 in the course of one year, unthinkable. For James and his family, the time, the training, and the pain proved deeply challenging and expensive. For the most part, it was uh, the generosity of, of friends, family, um, helping us out. It's a ridiculously expensive sport. <laughs> Um, the gear alone is expensive, throw on top of it entry fees, travel. Uh, it was thousands of dollars just to ship my bike. James shattered the previous record of 20 races in one year. He was on his way to setting a new benchmark when he saw a video called Dayton's Legs. Yeah, he can't talk or uh, communicate that well. But Dayton is trapped in a body riddled with cerebral palsy, but he wanted to be an Iron Man. A 13-year-old neighbor helped Dayton get his start. Dayton's a, a young man, lives in Arizona. He's got cerebral palsy. Um, can't swim, can't bike, can't run. You warm, Dayton? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. He's there mentally, 100%, and he's just trapped in his body. And I, I just, that's just so unfair that we have the ability to do all of these fun physical things, and he can't. And I thought, I thought to myself, there's got to be a way to help him become an Ironman. And so we reached out to him and he was just excited over the moon to, to participate with us. Dayton and James met at Lake Havasu last November. The race was on. After making quick work of the swimming competition, things took a turn for the worst. When Dayton's bike carriage malfunctioned. The cycling's my strength. And uh, 30 miles into it, I knew something was wrong. Every pedal stroke was like I was climbing a mountain. And, and I was traveling four miles an hour and I was doing the math. And I wasn't going to make it. I absolutely wanted to quit. A bike leg in the race that normally takes four hours suddenly took nine hours to complete. But quitting? Well, it was not an option. I would look back at him and go, he literally can't ride a bike. Dayton can't and I had to for him. He's not going to cross that finish line if I don't take the next step. After the toughest bike race of his career, James needed an all-time best in the marathon portion to keep from being disqualified. 16 hours and 40 minutes later. We were able to cross that finish line and, and kind of accomplish that goal, and I was able to give that gift to him, and, and in turn, he gave a huge gift to me. I was elated to be finished. I was exhausted. Um, but I, I was super grateful that I didn't let Dayton down. Please, 30 Ironman competitions that is incredible. in a year. Uh, the guy's amazing. And I spoke with him yesterday. He has plans for another triathlon with Dayton, this time with a better bike carriage that's working and hopefully a better time for both of them. We were obviously, who couldn't be, so inspired with the Iron Cowboy story. We wanted to help with his next race, which happens to be the half triathlon that's coming up in St. George. So, James, we wanted to introduce you to Sterling Nielsen of Mountain America Credit Union. Sterling Nielsen with Mountain America Credit Union. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. It's impressive what you're doing, and I love the way you're raising money here and helping out people like Dayton. That's awesome. We'd like to help out with a little bit of fundraising, and we have here this envelope, $500 to help out, Ooh. and uh, oh, we'll be able to do this a little more. Maybe help a few more. Go another trip with Dayton there. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Cool. What do you think of that, girls? That's awesome. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> hey, we'd also like to thank uh, Cameron Gould and Curtis Woodbury of Filmingo Films. Uh, they're actually doing a documentary, and they gave us some of their documentary footage of James and Dayton when they did their Lake Havasu Ironman competition. That is the most incredible story. I'm going to be definitely watching that documentary. For more on the documentary, when it's going to be available, if you'd like to get in touch with the Iron Cowboy, go to KUTV.com. We have some links there for you. I feel like we want to pay for us. Entire career. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, this so is nice. a great, inspiring story that Very. he was able to not only not only get his record, but you know, stop in the middle of it and do that for somebody that will, will well, never. He made that little boy's dream come true, and that's incredible. He really did. Incredible. That's